Hi guys, and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Real Madrid. Game day in the league here today, away at Real Sociedad, and if we win this game, the league title is secure. So here we go, big big day. This is what we've been working towards. So Marcelo can't play today, and Coentrao, who would be his usual replacement, also can't play today, as they were both sent off in our last league game. So Carvajal will have to play on the left, and Danilo will come in on the right. So Luka Modric gets a spot on the bench today, and so will, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo will too. But I, I, I would like to avoid using him today because he's still picked, you know, he's still carrying an knock there. So team today: Navas, Danilo, Varane, Ramos, Carvajal, Kroos, and Kovacic, Gareth Bale, Isco, James Rodriguez, and Morata. So here we go. Let's go win the title. Okay, so the pundits here, he's saying, I've got a feeling that Real Madrid are going to click for this game. Real Sociedad's recent home form is impressive, but he tips us to show our quality. Okay, and we are 1-3 to favourites, and Real Sociedad are 7-1, to one, which I think is incredibly generous. They are a good team, and it is a tough place to win. So let's once again ignore all the press questions. And they're going to be lining up with a familiar... Uh, shape just playing the deep midfielder rather than the attacking midfielder they've got the big target man up front but hopefully we should have the quality to win the game today so let's have a little look <clears throat> at their wingers so young 20 year old he actually looks a pretty good player there uh, he's relatively quick we are going to close him down looking at Amin Yunus here former Ajax and Gladbach player. He has good acceleration. He's a good dribbler and a flair player. I'm going to close him down just because I don't want to give him too much space. And I'm going to leave the, the rest of it as is. And I'll tell them to pick up where they left off. We have been playing well recently. So hopefully we can just go out and secure the title. This is what we've been working towards. So Morata to Kovacic to Ramos gets us underway here, which hopefully should be the day where we win the league. It's a tough, tough ask though, and our next fixture is away at Villarreal, so we've got a tough fixture after this as well, so we can't afford to slip up here. It's not like we can count on winning the next game, we are away, two tough ties, and Barcelona have home games which they really should win. So we just have to go out, do the job, do what's needed in a professional manner, and win the game. So a quiet 20 minutes, we are having more of the ball, we are having more shots although we aren't having many. Referees being fairly lenient here, which is probably good for us given the amount of red cards we've picked up this season. So they've done pretty well actually at closing the game down. Six shots for us but no chances created, it's over 60% possession now. And it looks like it's going to go into half time at nil nil, and indeed it does. So we're going to have to tell we're going to have to tell the players that it's not good enough. Frankly, assertively, not pleased. Let's have a little look at any chances we could uh, changes. Pardon me, we could make. We could go with Ronaldo. Um, I'm unsure. What is his injury actually? Scheduled to complete. Rehabilitation and return to full training tomorrow. He can get 45 minutes according to the, fit, uh, the fitness report. I'm going to take Isco off and I'm going to bring on Ronaldo and I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put James into the middle and I'm going to play Ronaldo as the inside forward and I'm just going to hope he can do the business. I usually wouldn't bring a player on when they still have an injury lingering but we really need to win today and his creativity and his ability could create the chance that we need to get the win. Good challenge there by Carvajal. So hopefully we can do something. I'm going to go more aggressive if we don't create something by about 65 minutes. Okay, we have a corner now. Tony Cross to deliver it. Whips it in. Headed down and away. And it's a penalty kick. <laughs> which will be taken by Cristiano Ronaldo. 
what a way to introduce yourself back from injury this would be if you could get the goal. This is a huge penalty. He's usually reliable. This is when he, when we need him most. Steps up and it's been saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, disaster. An absolute disaster. Oh god, and Ronaldo's condition's 37%. He's really not ready for this. And he's re-injured himself. Right, I'm going to have to take him back off. That was a disastrous seven minutes for Ronaldo there. Comes on, misses an absolute glorious chance from the penalty spot and has to go back off again injured. That was really, really poor management by me. I shouldn't have put him on there. I really shouldn't have. It's poor by the physio as well to tell me I could play him when I shouldn't have been playing him. Eunice plays it forward, controlled. Carvajal gets it away, but it should probably come back at us here from Eunice. Goes to Pardo, everyone in our half here now. In you go Martinez. Hopefully we can pinch it, and we do with Kroos. Gareth Bale picking it up now. He gets it forward. James Rodriguez trying to run him behind. Good touch, and he's in, and he should score. James Rodriguez, and the goalkeeper again. He must be a Barcelona supporter. That seems absolutely determined to deny us the league title today. Kroos's corner in is headed away. Oh dear. <laughs> and it just doesn't seem like our day, to be honest. Inigo Martinez now to Mikel Gonzalez. Forward to Pardo and Canales. Back the way to Martinez. Lobs it forward. Ramos cuts it out, but it will be picked up again by Martinez. Forward to Pardo now. Forward to the big man up front. Looks for the winger. Cut out well by Carvajal. He's done a decent job out there at left back, but he has lost it. Tony Cross recovers it. Forward for Morata now. Good bit of play from him. Plays it to Bale. Can he take on his man? Nope. He's lost it to Hector. But Cross heads it to James Rodriguez. And Kovacic now to Tony Cross. Looking for an option. Lobs it forward. James Rodriguez flick on Morata. And he scores. What a goal for Morata. And that's his 46th goal of the season. He's had a stormer of a season. And if he's the one that wins his league title, he deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. What a season he's had. So they're playing with the same formation now. We've created far more than them in this game. We're going to leave it as is until later on in the game where we might shut up shop a little bit just to ensure we get the victory. Danilo is in the book now and I'm going to tell him to ease off tackles and I'm going to tell him to calm down because we absolutely cannot afford a red card here with the league title hanging in the balance. So, telling him to ease off tackles. Let's get that instruction in play. As Ruben Pardo gets the yellow card for them. One yellow card apiece now. And I'm going to talk to him from the, from the touchline there. Just calmly telling him to calm down. <clears throat> and we have just over 20 minutes left in this game. So we are going to start playing more defensively now, just to try and ensure that we do win the game. More structured formation, and I'm going to change the actual setup as we go into the last 10 minutes or so. So let's do that now, and we'll also tell Carvajal to ease off his tackles. And we'll tell him to calm down in a second, but we're going to change the shape first. Vasquez and Bale are going to drop back. I wonder if Gareth Bale prefers there. Yep, and he'll play a winger. Vasquez will play the winger on the other side, a position which he is very comfortable in. Casimiro now is going to come on for James Rodriguez, and he'll drop back here, and we'll go this 4-1-4-1 formation. Structured. We're going to drop slightly deeper, waste a bit of time, more disciplined, stick to our positions and stay on our feet. And we're not going to go for the overlap now. We're actually going to make our wingers wing, but wing backs with a defensive duty to just try and hold on to this game now. It's a bit of a negative tactic for such a strong side, but you know what? We need to secure this win now. And we've been caught late in games recently. The Atletico Madrid game where we lost 2 1 being the first that springs to mind now. So for the last four minutes or so here, we're absolutely just going to go back to the wall. 
going to tell them to play even safer and we're going to drop deeper. I've done all I can, it's up to the players now. Actually, I might also shout at them to tighten up. Just try and use all the tools at my disposal here, assertively telling them to tighten up and hope we can secure this league title. Two minutes or so is all that stands between us and being champions now. If it ever loads. Come on. Try and pause and unpause, see what it does. I'm not liking this. Oh, and it finally does kick into action. We're going into added time now, just trying to see this out. A free kick to Real Madrid with a minute left. Surely we surely we see it out now. Half an hour left, eh, sorry, half a minute left. Ramos to Casimiro. And it's just about seeing this out now. Danilo to Varane. And Ramos and Kovacic. Varane, Tony Kroos. Kovacic, 15 seconds left. Coming forward now, goes back to Casimiro. Round to Kovacic. Holding the ball up well. Loses it. Pardo picks it up, but it should be all over now. Ramos heads it away, and it is all over. A fantastic result for us. And I'm going to tell them it was a very nice victory. I'm absolutely delighted. And that is now us six points clear of Barcelona. They have the two games in hand, but they should not be able to make it up. That should be it for the league title. Send the assistant to do the press conference. A new deal is wanted for Varane. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the contract negotiations with Varane. And when we come back, it will be Arsenal in the Champions League as we continue to hunt for what would be a fantastic season. So here we are. Champions League action again. We're away at Arsenal now in London. We have the 2-1 lead, the, the lead pardon me, from the first leg and we need to see this out and get to the Champions League final. <clears throat> we already have won the European Super Cup, which is largely irrelevant, the Club World Championship, which is even more irrelevant, and we are champions of Spain. So if we could win the Champions League as well, that would really just put the icing on the cake. If we look at the other Champions League tie just now, Manchester City did manage to win the second leg against Barcelona, three goals to two, but it wasn't enough and Barcelona await, uh, await the winners of our tie in the final. So let's take a look at the team selection just now. Cristiano Ronaldo is fit again. Marcelo and Cointral of course available for this game. So Pepe will drop out. Marcelo will come in for Carvajal. Um, actually, I'm going to restore Carvajal and take Danilo out of the side just now. We'll put him back. Move Casemiro up. I just like to arrange my bench to make it rather, you know, to make it neat. Cointrao, I wonder. Hmm. Am I gonna? Nah, I'm not gonna put Cointrao on the bench. <clears throat> if we look at the fitness tests here, Ronaldo past fit to start. 90 minutes of action he can play today. I'm unsure whether to start him or not. I'm going to make the decision. Actually, yes, I'm going to start Ronaldo. I'm going to start him in place of Isco. And I'm going to put James Rodriguez central. And we're going to play with Bale and Ronaldo wide. We have our full strength team today. We could return... Yeah, we will also return Modric to the starting lineup, Which looks like this. Keylor Navas is a goalkeeper. Carvajal, Varane, Ramos and Marcelo will be the back four. Kroos and Modric, the midfield pairing. Bale, James Rodriguez, Ronaldo and Morata, the front four. So here we go. So the pundits here predicting a win for Real Madrid. Saying that we should be able to build on the one goal lead from the first leg. The bookmakers have us evens favourites for this game. I think it's a bit harsh on Arsenal to expect us to come here away and beat them. But I hope we should be able to beat them here. Get to the Champions League final, an El Clasico final awaiting of course. Look at their lineup. it's more or less the same as the first game. Of course uh, Nacho Monreal can't play because he was sent off in the first tie. 
and I think once again I think we are the better quality team but they did do well in the first game so it's going to be a hard one for us today we'll close down Oxley Chamberlain and everything else is is good enough I'm going to tell them we've been on a good run and that they should go in presses so here we go big day today Champions League semi-final no one remembers the beaten semi-finalists as they say we are definitely a stronger side than Arsenal, but Arsenal have beaten good teams to get here. They beat Bayern Munich 4-1, I believe, in London, so we have to be careful here. And of course, a 1-0 win would send them through here because they got the away goal in Spain. So we're going to have to be careful. But opening 10 minutes, quiet game, which suits us. We're just edging possession here, but we don't have any shots to our name. Throwing in to Ozil. Forward it goes, cut out by Tony Kroos, of course Ozil, formerly a Real Madrid player. Modric into Morata, holding it up, plays it to Gareth Bale, former Spurs player. It breaks for Kroos, he goes wide but it is cut out by Alexis Sanchez, former Barcelona player, who gives it away to Bale, who scores that all-important goal. Fantastic, that's Gareth Bale scored home and away against Arsenal here. Great goal that is, and now all of a sudden Arsenal need two goals just to survive in this game, and if we get another goal, then they're pretty much done. They would need four if we manage to get another goal. Marcelo in the book. I'm going to tell him to ease off his tackles. Because, again, we don't want to go down to ten men and blow what is a great position because of ill-discipline. So I'm going to tell him ease off his tackles and I'm going to calmly tell him to calm down we have a chance here played forward by the Arsenal goalkeeper Ramsey picks it up he goes to Alexis Sanchez who finds Lucas goes out wide Alexis Sanchez will keep it in just he puts it into the box Varane gets it away though here's Tony Kroos if we could get forward and score here that would be that would be spectacular Kroos to James Rodriguez who finds Bale Bale's got a lot of grass in front of him he'll play it to Ronaldo of course this is his return game today loses it to Mustafi Ramsey to Ozil and it's a great ball over the top actually to Alexis Sanchez we're going to have a hell of a job here to stop them scoring here and it's brilliant by Ramos to clear and Morata may pick it up here Morata does pick it up actually he has it out wide could we break on them here Gareth Bale getting forward here Modric he slips it to James who slips it to Morata could he square it for Ronaldo he squares it for Ronaldo and Ronaldo scores and that should be us in the Champions League final to take on Barcelona our end of season form has been nothing short of spectacular we've won the big games that we need to win <clears throat> so from kickoff Arsenal are really going to have to throw this into high gear now and really try and aggressively come after us. So Ramsey goes back to Mustafi. Forward to Granit Xhaka. To Oxley chamberlain who was their best player in the first leg. He goes to Xhaka. Good ball to Alexis Sanchez. And he scores right away. And all of a sudden there is a way back for them now. They still need three goals. But I'm really disappointed that we couldn't hold on to that position for a while there. That's going to give them confidence. We're just going to have to try and calmly see out this a bit. Oh, Marcelo, or sorry, Carvajal. Doesn't go in the book, thankfully, but it is a chance for Alexis from the free kick. And it's eluded the goalkeeper, and they've got it back to 2-2. They only need two more goals now. And this, all of a sudden, is turning from just having to easily see the game out to all of a sudden we're in a bit of trouble here. We just need the players to keep their heads here. Koscielny goes into the book if they would go down to 10 men again that would be rather beneficial for us getting to half time at 2 each wouldn't be too bad Oxley chamberlain injured that is that's good <laughs> they're bringing on Theo Walcott now Oxley chamberlain was one of their better players as I say their best player actually in the first tie so Petr Cech is going to take the goal kick now, forward it comes towards Sanchez who's been their only real player in this half and he's scored twice, flicked on by James Rodriguez and Tony Kroos winning it but losing it then, forward to Lucas, here's Alexis Sanchez, if they could score the third in this half, which they could here, it's Ozil and he's scored and all of a sudden this is unravelling very very quickly for us. We would be through on away goals at the minute but this has been a disaster of a... Of a 
of a first half, going two up and being three two down. I thought at two 0 it was all over, game over. But it certainly doesn't seem that way now. Kroos and Modric and Marcelo have all been disappointing. I'm going to bring Danilo on so we can take Marcelo off. He's on the card and he's been poor. The rest of the team, I'm just frankly going to have to hope they can do what's needed of them. I could go to counter-attacking and try and soak up some pressure, but I worry that that would invite them on. I'm going to start the second half the same way that we've been playing all season and just hope we can go out there and rally, maybe bag another goal. If we get another goal, all of a sudden they need two more. But it's a really precarious situation right now when it shouldn't be. So Navas with the goal kick. He goes long looking for Morata. Two Arsenal defenders get it away. It's nodded down to James Rodriguez though. Could be a chance here. Tony Kroos closed down quickly. He finds Modric. They've been very aggressive with their closing down. He finds Danilo now. We should be able to play through them. Modric now. Can he find Ronaldo? He can. He goes to Morata. Morata now with a nice ball to James Rodriguez and Gareth Bale and there we go what a way to start the second half Gareth Bale scoring the goal there the former Spurs man once again causing all the problems for Arsenal and it's 3-3 on the day and we have the 5-4 lead in the tie now Kroos taking the corner headed away Ozil will pick this up though possible counter on for Arsenal Ozil playing it long picked up by Johnny Otto I believe I'm not certain how you pronounce his name but Modric nicks it plays it to James this has to be a goal Ronaldo can he seal the tie oh what a save by Petr Cech that should have been it though we should have scored there very disappointing not to score there that's a crazy game now I think if we get to about the 70th minute, I will change to a more counter-attacking style. Gareth Bale actually to Ronaldo. Could be another chance on here for Ronaldo, but it's good defending by Hector Bellerin. Very tense game now. Arsenal have put up a hell of a fight here and it's not over yet. Arsenal corner now actually to be taken by Ozil. He swings it in very deep, headed away by Ramos. It will come back to Walcott though. He finds Mustafi. On the edge of the box now, Mustafi, and it's a penalty. That's careless by Carvajal, he's going nowhere there. It's a horrendous decision by Carvajal t to make that challenge. That's Carvajal in the book now. I think it'll be it'll be Lucas actually, it won't be Alexis Sanchez. And this would be a great moment for Keeler Navas to make himself a hero here. Lucas stepping up with the penalty. And it's it's a goal. All of a sudden Arsenal are within one of doing the impossible. Again I'm gonna wait till about the seventieth minute to make the change. Sergio Ramos to Carvajal. I really wary of inviting them onto us. Modric now plays it through to James Rodriguez, who goes over the top for Morata. It's headed away by Mustafi. Cross can play it out to the right here. Danilo with tons of space. Can he get the ball into the area here? Danilo, he's run into a corridor now, still going, loses it to Alexis, who plays in Morata inadvertently. And it's a goal. It's 4 4 on the right now. And we have the 6 5 advantage. Crazy game here. James Rodriguez will come off for Casimiro, who will play deeper. I'm going to change to defensive wing backs and we're going to go in a countering style now because they're going to have to throw the kitchen sink at us and we're going to go countering we're going to be more structured we're going to go with a higher tempo and more direct passing and we're going to exploit the flanks defensive line is slightly deeper and we're not going to look for the overlap anymore going to be more defense, uh, disciplined, stick to positions and stay on our feet and we're going to go now and hope that we don't let them back into this again because we keep scoring goals, keep getting ourselves into a good position and then keep shooting ourselves in the foot. So Casemiro on to try and sure things up here. Hopefully the game will quiet down now and we can kill things. Koscielny off for Mertesacker. I expect them to make some sort of change and go for a more aggressive formation. They've took Mustafi off for... Gabriel. Strange just changing the two centre backs now when they need two goals. I'm not too sure what they're 
intentions are now. I'm going to go defensive. I'm going to assertively tell them to tighten up at the back. Hopefully we should be able to see this one out. It's been a crazy, crazy game. They need two goals at this point, so we should be able to make it through 10 minutes. But of course we have conceded late goals before. We conceded two against Barcelona in the last minute, so I'm not counting them out yet. And here they have a throw-in. Throw-in to Ozil. Alexis to Xhaka, goes forward for Walcott, cross cuts it out, if we could score another it would be over, oh Xhaka cutting it back out, Ramsey with a good ball to Alexis, there's a bit too much space for my liking out here for on the left, it's whipped in, it's headed away, Lucas will pick it up now, out wide, nicked by Gareth Bale, charging forward, if we could as I say score the other goal this would be over, Morata, does he have support, he's going to go himself, can he get the shot away he can but it's over the bar. But we killed a bit of time there, I'll take that. And we're still a danger on the counter. For the last five minutes, we are going to make a change. We're going to bring on... Who are we going to bring on? We're going to bring on Kovacic for Kroos. And we're going to switch Kovacic and Modric now. Modric will be the deeper playmaker. And we just have to see it the last five minutes. We will contain the game. And it should be over now. There's a minute of injury time left. Bellerin throws it in and it ends a 4-4 draw and a 6-5 victory for Real Madrid on aggregate. I'm going to tell the lads it was a great victory or congratulate them for playing in the final that they've all dreamt about, which will now be against Barcelona. It was a hell of an episode this time. We've secured the league title and we'll be playing in the final of the Champions League against Barcelona. Next time out, we actually have the Spanish Cup final, so the action just continues to roll here. If we take a little look at our schedule, in the next episode, if we scroll down, we will be playing the Spanish Cup final, and we will round up the league. We'll play the Spanish Cup final, we'll have some highlights from the Villarreal game, and we'll just look at the league. We'll look, we'll have a little review of the key games that we played, we'll have a little look at the scorers, we'll have a little look really at the performances that won us the league title. Just a really short roundup. And we will leave the Champions League final, of course, for its own episode. So next time, Spanish Cup final and rounding out the league. So that will be the next episode, and I'll see you next time.